All right, so that was a nice little trolley ride through the countryside and through the tunnel from Scranton over to where the trolley restoration building is over by PNC Park over there. So the next stop um, for us today is we're actually going to catch a bus that's going to take us here from Steamtown over to the furnaces over there where they got the, the uh, actual furnaces working where they're going to be doing some pouring and everything. And there's also going to be some food trucks over there that we want to check out. So that's going to be the next stop on the list. All right. So after a short five minute uh, little bus ride here uh, from Steamtown, we are now over here at the Scranton Historic Iron Furnace. So we're going to walk around here, check out some of the food trucks that are here and hopefully uh, catch them doing some pouring here shortly. I think it's time to put the camera down and grab some grub here. All right, lunch was pretty good. I had some tacos there and they were quite delicious. If you want to see what we all got to eat, head on over to Jay's channel, JP Videos. Go to his video, check out. He did a video on uh, what we all got to eat. So now we're going to walk behind me here to where they're doing some casting and we're gonna see if we can catch them pouring some iron. Two taps, I like to do just kind of a little lower, a little, little less weight, just to make sure everything's working fine. So um, I'm gonna be telling the crew to kind of get ready. So we're getting real close. The first time. Now they're skimming the furnace. 
Jay got his dessert. He's got a uh, Belgian waffle. I think they're, yeah, they're Belgian waffles there with uh, strawberries and whipped cream on it. So, I'm excited for this. he's a happy camper. <laughs> All right, so that is going to wrap it up for over here at the Scranton Historic Iron Furnaces. Now we are going to venture back over to Steamtown and hopefully get a close up of the big boy. We've been saving that one for last. Okay, so we saved this one for last. This is the big boy, Union Pacific 4012. We're gonna do a walk around of it here, and we're gonna go up and check out the cab since they're giving cab tours today. Line and we're going to change that right now. Hey, are you JP videos? <laughs> but this thing is just huge. This is the main event. Excellent. Well, welcome to the big boy. Thank you. Yep, we are going to be venturing in this thing and checking out the cab. We've waited all day for this. And Jamie thinks she's going to drive this thing. I'm going to drive this thing, guys. This is incredible. Look at this. This thing's bigger than my my home office. Check this out, guys. Come on, come on. Get your phone out. I couldn't even begin to guess what all these dials and gauges do. I know that's the, the door to the firebox there. The parking brake. Parking brake. <laughs> I was going to say, there's there's the whistle. That's, that's the only thing I know. There, I wish that was blowing the whistle. This would be brakes, I believe. That would be brakes, I think. Is that, this would be the throttle, right? That's throttle, yep. 
This would be the throttle. This is what makes it go. I think this changes direction. I believe so. And that would be the brake. And then what's what that? Happens. I don't know. I probably have this all wrong, guys. You can. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I always see them using this when they're accelerating. Or. <laughs> you guys can let me know in the comments how screwed up I have it. But it's not moving down the tracks, so I obviously don't have it figured out. Let's take a look around. I can sit in this seat all day, but they already told me I'm not allowed to move in. Yeah. And I other piece yeah. of turns. Alright, take a look back here in the in the tender. Yeah. I want to try and get a a view here yet of what Jay's doing. In fact, I'll just stand behind him. So there you can see. Looking out that window, that's the view that the conductor or the engineer would have looking out. Pretty cool. Alright, so we are going to walk down alongside of this thing now and take a look at this up close and i thought the reading and northern's 2102 was big this thing is that is nothing compared to this and there's only one other one of these in operation that i know of and that is out west and i believe that is the Frame is articulated. 4013, I believe, or the 4014. But I'll go to the front here and I'll show you how this thing pivots to get around turns since it is so big. Here you can see the the manufacturer of it. You can see how this first set of driving wheels and the pilot wheels, that's actually on a separate frame that swivels independently of the trailer. So there you can actually see how it turns and pivots, which is incredible. All right, so that was a real treat, getting to walk around that thing and uh, getting to go inside the cab and seeing everything. And I don't know how those guys did it, all those knobs and levers and everything else in there. I'm sure they make it, make it look easy and everything, but that is the highlight there for me, getting to see that engine up close and in person. That is just one spectacular piece of machinery.
All right, so after doing some more damage in the uh, gift shop again, getting t-shirts from up here, I am actually with Jay right now, and he is going to be taking me and Jamie over to another location here where we're, I'm gonna try and put my drone up and get some aerial shots since we can't fly the drones here at the, uh, at Steamtown with it being a national uh, park and everything. So he's going to take us to another location. Hopefully I'll get some good aerial shots for you.
well, that is going to wrap it up here in Scranton at Steamtown for RailFest 2022. So I had a blast today. It was my first time coming here and I am definitely going to be coming back at some point because there's stuff that I didn't even get to see today. It was just so much to take in. I had a blast and I want to thank that guy who's back there somewhere. Um, I especially want to thank Jay from JP Videos for him being my tour guide up here. And thanks to my other fellow YouTubers that uh, came out today, uh, Jamie Macon, uh, Lewis, um, Alan Revenge of the Apocalypse was here, and, and Matt, who used to be Matt PG. So it was a great time. If you did enjoy the video, please give it the thumbs up. Also hit that subscribe button down there. If you're new to the channel and would like to subscribe and also ring the bell if you'd like to be notified when I upload new videos to YouTube. So until next time, it's have a ball and do it all. We'll see you soon.